What is going on, you guys? It is your boy OMZ here. here. This is ITZX. We are here, My Hero Academia, episode 17, The Hellacious Todoroki Family. We are getting off the filler episode from last week. We are going to finish up the Endeavor Agency arc with the last two episodes. And we're going to. I've been thinking about it all week in the past couple, like the past couple weeks. I really hope they don't rush My Villain Academia, but I feel like they are. And I've been. And I've been hearing a lot of people, and I mean, you've even been saying you're kind of worried for the arc and everything. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for. So I just hope they do it justice for an arc this big that I've been hearing. There's probably going to be a lot of like content they're going to have to cover. So I'm like, can you do that in a span of six to seven episodes? So who knows? But we know that the movie did get just get released in Japan. If you guys have seen it, please do not list the spoilers in the comments down below. But then again, why would you even look there? But right now we are going to go into episode 17. Obviously, they're going to have a dinner in this episode and they're saying it's supposed to be awkward. So let's see. I've been hearing that it is supposed to be emotional to some degree. There is supposed to be like a reveal or something. So let's see what the hell happens. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys like our reaction, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to get notified on what we release videos, definitely smash the notification bell. You guys are checking our merch and Discord. The link's in the description. With that being said, let's get right into the episode. In the world of pros, the slightest actions can make the difference between life and death. With that in mind, we're trying to follow Endeavor's instructions. Keep focusing on ways you can improve. Train till you can do hero work in your sleep. By the time you oh, shit. decide what to do, you should already be in action. We were the ones who responded first this time. Damn it, how did he beat us again? Wow, he really is amazing. He always seems to pull ahead of us in the last second. You should be more careful if you're still using cash these days. Yes, sir. Endeavor! Got a hit and run in Area 23. Got it, be right there. Crap! Crap! <laughs> An impressive job is always in danger. God, her eyes are nice. I'm going to rest for a while. Summon me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. The enemy is the Liberation Army. They number over a hundred thousand. So close, but yet so far. Oh, hey, Dad. How are you? I heard you're working with Shoto these days. Yes, Ryuji. And his friends are there, too? Aw, why didn't you tell me? I was honestly pretty shocked when I heard. I'm so excited for the two of you. Anyway, school's starting back up, which means it'll be harder to get people together. And since tomorrow's Saturday, I was thinking you could bring everyone over to the house for dinner. Come on, I promise you the food will be delicious. I just had a tone switch, like that. Recently, I've been having the same dream. My wife and children look like they're having fun around the dinner table, laughing over simple things. They share moments of joy, happy to be together. But I'm never at that table. <laughs> now stand up. If you get hurt that easily, you can forget about beating all of mine, or even a small time thug. Please stop this. He's fine. Oh, wow. Stop pushing him. Take it. Get out of my way. Damn. Shoto went to visit Ray in the hospital? Yeah. And what happened? They just talked. Not for very long, but I'm still happy. I mean, he went there, and she at least let him come in. I see. He's really doing that. Mom screams. Shoto's crying. What happened to our big brother, Toya? You may have had a change of heart, but you can't waltz in here and think we'll accept you. How disgusting can you be? Shoto started visiting Mom on a regular basis, and Dad is compromising and making an effort. Mom's even started acting more cheerful. I thought maybe we could act like a real family for once, you know? I have to admit, Endeavor the top hero does some incredible work. But that's a different person, not our old man. I agree with what Natsu said to him. I still can't forgive you for what you did to Mom, 
And that's my choice to make. As for being my father, I'll have to watch your actions to see if you earn that. Because I know something small can change a person. He's sitting there reflecting. That's what he needs. Yeah. Sidekicks and follow me! The Endeavor Agency is fully equipped with rooms for us to stay in. So we ate and slept in the same building as the flaming sidekickers. Morning, everyone. <laughs> Morning, Ricky. How's your progress going? Oh, hi, Vernon. It's fine, thanks. It's way too early for you to be yelling, idiot. You ready? <laughs> you boys with me. Still nowhere near good enough yet. Thinking, acting, controlling your powers. Shorten the time needed for each of those. That was pretty quick. I'll be on the fucking FDA on that one. <laughs> the fucking safety administration. Yeah. Run faster. Push yourselves. Never think you've reached your peak. Show me you're stronger than you were yesterday. A hero should be constantly accelerating. He's grown. Still is getting there. For you, me. You've helped me realize so much. Follow me! Yes, yeah. sir! <laughs> to the trap! My sister invited everyone for dinner. I think Deku in the back. She wanted to meet my friends. You must sit there right now and tell her we aren't and never will be friends. Hear me? Look, John. Come on in. Thank you for making time. Oh, my God. I'm Fuyumi, Shoto's older sister. It's nice to meet you. Thank you both for watching out for him. Um, thank you for going out of your way to welcome us into your okay. home. It's an honor. Oh, right. I'm Todoroki's classmate, Izuka Midoriya, and I couldn't be more excited to be here. You know who you are? I watched on TV when you fought my brother at the sports festival. Uh, I'm sorry I kind of heard him back there, but I swear it wasn't personal. Honest. It's just that we were getting it our own. She understands that it was just a match, Midoriya. <laughs> I hate masks! That's nice animation for him. I like that. I'm glad you asked this over. It's uh, pretty rare I get to see a friend's house. Natsu's here, too. I saw his shoes by the front door. Well, I wanted the whole family to get Very to Very observant. Oh, my Let me do introductions. God. I'm Shoto's older sister, Fuyumi. I teach in an elementary school nearby. And this is Shoto's older brother, Natsuo. He's in college. Hey, what's up? Shoto, this is where you introduce your friends. Right. These are two of my classmates in the hero course, Midoriya and Baku. Oh, it's nice to meet you! Oh my god. Stop analyzing dinner, you freak! You're mumbling for ruining the taste of my mambo tofu! These large meat juices were sent straight from heaven to my mouth! Not surprised. Our housekeeper had a back injury and retired early, so Fuyumi's been the one mostly in charge of cooking for a while now. That makes sense. Oh, that's a girl I need. We took turns. Wait, so did I eat your food growing up? It's possible. I can go overboard on season, though. Endeavor might have kept you from having it. He always did keep a close eye on your diet. <laughs> I suppose Gonna choke on that breath? So, Shoto, what kind of food do you eat anyway? Cafeteria style. Not so well. I'd like to try your cooking next time. Thanks for the meal, sis. I showed like I said I would, but now I'm done. Wait! <laughs> Sorry, but I just can't do this. Even Baka goes like... <laughs> Damn. Ah, uh, dishes. 
Um, excuse me. Are dishes? Right. So, uh, did you know Todoroki's family had a lot of issues going on before this? Of course, but only because you guys talked about it so loud that I could not know it. <laughs> you were listening? <sighs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So tell me, how do you feel about our dad, honestly? He may not have been there, but he's responsible for the scar I have. Oh, baby, no! I'm so sorry, Shoto! What have I done? I'm so sorry, Shoto! Please, I'm sorry! Oh, oh shit. Was a monster. Until he pushed her past the breaking point. He ruined her. I can't forgive him so easily. Dear Shoto, are you doing well? It's been cold, so I'm worried about you getting sick. Make sure you wear a coat. I've been able to go out more recently, getting outside of this room. The doctor says that if things keep progressing smoothly, I can be discharged soon. That's nice. I want to live with you and your brother and sister again, as a family. I'll do my best to make sure what happened before doesn't happen again. I swear it. To be honest, I have no idea what I want from him. I don't know how to feel about the old man, but I'll figure it out. You people! If you're gonna invite guests over, don't talk about sensitive subjects! There are dishes that need washing! Oh, I'm sorry, you're totally right! You're yes. so right, John! I heard about the situation with Todoroki, so we're sort of in the know. Normally you'd think getting asked over for dinner is a good thing, but you went and ruined some good food with your family drama! I'm sorry about My that. dear! <laughs> My man, my man, you need to calm down, he ain't dude. Afraid to speak is my mad respect. I know it's not my business, but I think deep down you're ready to move forward with your dad. Don't get me wrong, though. If you don't forgive him, that's up to you. No one can force you to accept him. The thing is, you're a really caring person. He's listening. If so, I'm sure you'll know how to feel when the time comes. What can I do for my family after all this time? Where do I begin? I've been having Ooh. that dream. My wife and children look like they're having fun around oh, the dinner yeah. table. But you're not there. I wish that you could join them. Toya. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. We finally... Actually, you know what? Meanwhile, let me go back and just see if he has a post credit scene. But meanwhile, we gotta, we gotta look at him. Even as a kid. So... I mean, we already kind of know it's Dobby somewhat. Like that that's what that's what we're all speculating. Like, are you confirmed that it is Dobby? That Dobby is Toya? I'm pretty positive. Pretty positive. So I mean that that's me that I think he is Dobby. The Todoroki family aspect is one probably one of the best things about this show. Um the story aspect and even just like oh shit, and there is a post credit scene. Shut up. <laughs> The villain. Okay, well, it's a little bit. Yeah, I don't know shit. The Todoroki aspect of or the Todoroki family aspect of the show is amazing. Um, I really liked the tone and the feel of this episode. It's kind of weird, but do you kind of agree that, like, Midoriya is kind of the one to tell, even though it's mostly his sister telling him the same thing, Midoriya is telling him, like, hey, you are a caring person. Like, oh, do you feel like you need to, or you have the capability to move on with your dad? Like, I don't know. Do you think, like, there's, like, a thing with Midoriya getting through to Todoroki, or? Yeah, I think he did right there. Well, no, I'm saying, like, with, like, with the writers, like, oh, it feels like it's only mainly Deku to, like, get through to Todoroki, maybe. 
I don't know. Because he kind of got through to, I mean, he got through to him, which I totally understand from a story perspective, that he got through to him with the um, the fight back in season two. I get that. But well, just, yeah, I don't know. He was the only one to actually talk to him. Yeah. Like, from Todoroki's perspective, they were one and the same. He was All Might's and he was Endeavor's, the one and two. Like, they looked as, you know, their future opposites. And Deku kind of broke through on that. So, like, I don't know. It's just, it looks like from the writers, they're kind of saying, like, oh, Deku is kind of the only one to kind of break Todoroki's shell a little bit, so to speak. I mean, yes, he's hearing it from somebody else other than his family. He already probably hears it from his brother and his sister. Probably most of his sister, mostly. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I just kind of noticed that in this episode. Um, I am excited to see where Endeavor does go, eventually leading to all the crazy shit that we know is supposed to happen. And, I don't know. I, I'm excited for what Endeavor... I like the whole scene with Endeavor realizing everything that's happened and everything that he's gone through and where he is right now. But overall, it was a pretty solid episode. Wouldn't consider it emotional. I did like that scene with the mom. With, um, like, oh shit, I'm sorry like that I did that to you. Like, after she burned him. Like, I like that. I didn't think we were actually going to get anything after that. So, I did like that scene. But overall, pretty solid episode. The next episode is mostly going to be the last episode of this arc. And is gonna the villain's going to do something. Have no idea. Actually, just from seeing his photo right there. What do you do? You have any idea what you think his quirk is? Um, I don't think it's like it reminds me of the dude from the Vanguard Action Squad with the teeth, but I know it's not teeth. Of, it could either be something metal, something. No, no, I don't think they do that. I, it's like it looks like bandages. Maybe yeah, maybe bandages, electricity, like static electricity, something like that. And he's what that's why he's wearing a hoodie. Yeah. Uh, maybe he's an actual mummy. Wind I you know, um, at this point I don't even fucking know anymore. I mean he could be water for all we fucking know. Yeah. Like half the shit in my hair we don't really know. Yeah. Especially like let alone let alone looking at a person we usually... It's like a 0.10% that we can ever tell see, what I their wish, quirk I is. I wish we could see, like, what the white... Like, the white... If they were, f like, flimsy, if they were solid, like... Is it, like, a uh, a paper towel consistency? Is it, like, mm. like, metal? Is it rigid? I think he can have the ability to form it to however he wants to. Like, whether if he wants it soft or... I, I'm, I was almost about to say out of context, but like, oh, okay, uh, like maybe turn it into metal or whatever. I was kind of like looking at his like overall getup and like, oh, maybe they come off of his getup, like come off of his like suit or whatever, because like the things kind of look like that. But yeah, I think he just probably looks like a mummy and he probably has the ability to do whatever he can with his bandages or whatever. It's most likely going to remind me from the dude back in the Vanguard Action Squad, but yeah, Next episode, and then what I've been, because I've been staying off of Twitter lately, but I know like I've been keeping up with like news sources or whatever. There's something coming up with Aizawa and present Mike, which I'm not going to find out, nor he probably will either. I heard about that, actually. You did? I heard about that, and I heard... Um, the Aizawa actor? or Well, I heard that there was something that happened with... Aizawa, present Mike, and a character that was in their backstory in Vigilantes. Ooh. I don't remember. I don't know what it is, but I remember I saw something. One of the people that I follow was freaking out that they made a drawback to it. Oh, shit. And I was like, who? Who? Have you gotten to any like any of that point in Vigilantes? With? I've read all of Vigilantes. You read all of Vigilantes. I okay. fucking loved it. Okay. Yeah, oh. so I was like... Which motherfucker? There's like three I could think of that would be really fucking cool to see. I want to see Cloud Guy. <laughs> I don't remember his name. I, I totally forget his name. Do you it's think it's any? It, do you think it's a character from like that we've already seen, like no. a villain or? No, no, I think it's a new guy. New guy. <sighs> because the Aizawa actor, I, I could see them do a completely new, doing a completely new character if it. See, because I don't, I don't know. It has to lead into. It has to lead into the next arc. It has to somehow, some way. I think it's gonna do something like obviously flashback or some shit. Um, the Aizawa actor has been teasing that this episode 
is the most dark episode in the entire series, which intrigues the absolute fuck out of me. Because as most of you guys have seen throughout all the My Hero stuff we've done, I have seen a lot of shocking stuff in this episode where I found out Togo was actually like like Cammy the entire time. Uh, the overall thing with Night Eye and Overhaul's quirk and everything. I've seen a lot of shocking shit in this show. But I don't know what the hell is going to happen in that next episode. Even with Aizawa and present, like, I don't know. I don't know how involving them two and whatever flashback that's going to happen is going to be the most shocking thing in the series. I don't know. Maybe it relates to Shigaraki. I don't, I don't know. But I know we are right around the corner from Villain Academia. We probably only have two, three weeks left. Hopefully they don't go on a break like they're doing right now with the sub, but they're probably going to. But who knows? We can't wait for it. Hope you guys are excited for it. And if you guys are, like, subscribe, comment down below. You guys want to get notified on when we release those videos, definitely smash the notification bell. And as always, I'm Omzi. That is Schmitty, and we are out.